Hey guys, I am just about to start recording some Let's Plays, uh, but I get questions from you guys on a semi-regular basis just asking what uh, I use to record, what my setup is like, and all that. So I happen to be doing a kind of complex Let's Play setup for this set of episodes, so I thought this would be a good time to show you uh, just some cool stuff and how I set it all up. So today I'm starting a Let's Play of The Legend of Zelda Four Swords. For those of you who don't know, that game used the Game Boy Advance uh, link cable connector, GameCube Game Boy Advance connector cable, um, to essentially do what the Wii U does, to give you a second view into the game. Now, when you're playing the game single player, uh, you do have the option to play it with just a regular GameCube controller, and, uh, and everything just shows up on the TV. But I don't feel like that really gives you a good idea of what the game actually is. So, uh, I have come up with a setup that allows me to actually capture what you would see on the Game Boy without actually using an actual Game Boy Advance. So, here's how we did that. So the game disc itself is actually in my Wii, uh, which is running standard AV out into an HDMI converter, uh, which then goes into an Elgato, which then goes over to my desk. That Wii is linked to the GameCube via the Game Boy Advance link cable, so the GameCube end is in the Wii, and the Game Boy Advance end is in my GameCube Game Boy Player. Which, by the way, the thought that Nintendo had to put into including the Game Boy Advance connector cable into the Game Boy Player on the GameCube is kind of mind-blowing, because essentially that means that you can plug a GameCube into itself, um, but now it means that we can plug a, like a Wii or another GameCube into it and actually use that GameCube to play connectivity games, which is mind-blowing that they thought of that at the time so that now we can use it today. It's just weird to think about. Um, which the GameCube is, of course, has the Game Boy Player disc in it. Um, and so the Wii, which is running in GameCube mode, thinks that the GameCube is a Game Boy, and so, when you're playing Four Swords, it's actually sending the Game Boy signal to the GameCube, which I then have on this TV. And so the GameCube is going out, uh, once again through standard AV, into my old capture device, which is the Diamond HD Game Capture. Fun fact that I learned after I got it, Totally not HD. Uh, captures at 480 by 720, which is most definitely standard definition, but it says HD on the box, but no. No, totally, totally not HD. If you've been watching my Let's Plays for a while, you may remember that uh, from back when I was playing like Pandora's Tower and uh, Conduit. I captured both of those on that thing. They looked weird. Somebody actually commented that it looked like I was recording them off of a VCR. Uh, that's accurate, um, but for our purposes of recording what should be on a Game Boy screen, that 480 by 720 resolution will do just fine. So yeah, that runs through the diamond, and then up once again into the computer. Uh, on this monitor, you can see the Elgato capture, which is the Wii, which is playing the GameCube game. And uh, on this monitor, you can see the GameCube capture, which is playing the Game Boy part of the game. So that is by far the most weird and confusing setup I have ever done for a Let's Play, but it's cool. What I find really mind-blowing is that when I push a button on the GameCube controller, I'm actually controlling this GameCube, which is then controlling this Wii to make things happen. So, like, I'm seeing, like, the feed that I'm seeing on the TV that I'm controlling with this controller, this controller isn't plugged into that Wii, it's plugged into that GameCube, which is plugged into that Wii, which is making things happen over here. I don't know if anybody else finds that as, like, crazy cool and interesting as I do, but just in case there's somebody else out there who thinks that's amazing, then th there you go. You're welcome. And then, of course, once I am ready to go, this camera that I'm holding right now will go onto this tiny tripod, which will film me sitting over there, and then my mic, which will be... Plugged in. I don't have it plugged in right now because I didn't want to trip over it. So that'll be plugged in and that'll all also go back to here. My computer is going to have a very busy, busy evening of capturing. That's how I do that. Obviously, normally it's just the one capture device, but tonight is a special event of just epic capturing proportions. So uh, yeah, hopefully if you are as much into, you know, this little niche part of, of gaming and video editing that is capturing multiple video game feeds, 
uh, then you enjoyed this. Um, everybody else, I guess thanks for hanging out. Bye. Oh, are those stairs? Yeah. <gasps> There's a cheap cheap. There's a cheap cheap up there. Hello, cheap cheap. Would you like fire? Uh, I can't get up there. Oh, what does this do? <gasps> a bridgey bridge. Yay! You got 20 force gems. The sword is gaining power. Cool. Neat. Was there not a- Oh, he's just- he's just, That's the water that's right in the river. Oh, it's just a different perspective on the world. I see. I understand. I wish I still had my boomerang. Would you like fire instead? No. Whoa! I gotta get over there fast before they disappear. 